Thank you for taking time to view our informational video. In this video, I will provide you with an overview of the Strategic Underground Program so that you can have an understanding of the stages and areas of homeowner partnership. The Strategic Underground Program is a system-wide initiative that focuses on shortening restoration times following major storms. Dominion Energy uses a data-driven process to determine which overhead lines are the most prone to outages. As these outage-prone lines are identified, we will work with property owners on a proposal to remove the overhead lines and replace them with underground. This will help us to achieve our goal of reducing the number of locations our crews are sent to to make repairs following a major storm, which in turn will help reduce restoration times. By placing certain lines underground, it helps to improve reliability. Where outages do occur, we are able to restore power more quickly as there are fewer repairs to make due to our undergrounding efforts. As part of a strategic underground project, our commitment to you is to have minimal impact to your property. We accomplish this through directional drilling technology, which I will explain in more detail in a minute. Additionally, you have dedicated points of contact who are always available to answer any questions and will ensure you are kept informed of the next step of the project before it happens. It may help to identify which lines we are targeting as part of the Strategic Underground Program. From the main line, lines branch or tap off. These tap lines are the focus of our program. So what can cause outages or performance issues with overhead lines? Well, tree limbs falling on lines and weather are two of the greatest contributors to outages. This means that restoration can be extended due to the difficult to access repair locations in backyards or wooded neighborhoods. Our proposal is to underground these outage prone overhead lines. By undergrounding the most outage prone lines, we can greatly reduce the frequency and duration of outages. Our data shows that by undergrounding 20% of the most outage prone overhead tap lines, we can reduce the length of storm restoration by 50%. This benefits all customers because by reducing the number of repair locations, our crews are able to restore power for all customers more quickly. So what does it take to convert power from overhead to underground? There are six stages to the Strategic Underground Program for every project. The first stage is evaluation. We review 10 years of historical data to select the most outage-prone overhead lines. The data points us in the right direction to begin creating projects. When we create a project, we make site visits to determine the feasibility of replacing the overhead lines and a possible route for the underground lines. Once the new underground route has been determined, we move on to the third stage, which is obtaining easements. We work with all property owners along the proposed route to obtain an easement. This stage is important because it determines the schedule of the subsequent stages. Once we have all the necessary easements for us to move forward, we can move into pre-construction activities. Once easements have been acquired, we will send a letter explaining the details of pre-construction. To ensure a safe installation, all public and private underground lines and equipment will need to be identified and marked. Dominion Energy will coordinate with VA811, formerly known as Miss Utility, to identify the public underground lines. We will also work with property owners to identify any private underground equipment such as irrigation systems and drain fields. Next is the construction and conversion stage. During the construction process, we are not only installing underground cable two to three feet below the current grade, but also the pad mount transformers and pedestals. We will be using a trenchless technology called directional drilling to reduce the amount of impact to your property. We will have to dig small safety holes to ensure the cable is being installed correctly, and we will also dig holes for the locations of the transformers. After construction is complete, we will then convert your power from the overhead system to the new underground system. The last stage is property restoration. Our work on the project is not complete until we restore your property to a similar condition as it was prior to construction using seed and straw. The goal of this strategic underground project is to improve the reliability of your electric service. We do share poles with other utilities, such as cable and telephone providers, and we notify those providers about our intentions to come off the poles and go underground. 
They review each project proposal and determine the best business solution for them. If they choose to remain overhead, the polls will remain in order to continue providing you with their service. After all underground construction has been completed and we have transferred the power from overhead to underground, we will remove our overhead facilities off the poles and shorten the height of the pole for the remaining providers still attached. Now, I would like to talk about homeowner partnership and the impact this project has on property owners. As this project continues to progress, we will need support from neighbors, which comes in the form of signing easements. An easement is an agreement that allows Dominion to install, maintain, and operate our equipment on your property. In order to install the underground equipment, we will need underground easements that have a standard width of 15 feet. An easement is needed where the route runs to serve the neighborhood. An easement is not necessarily needed for the line that runs from the transformer to your home. An easement means you can still do day-to-day -day activities such as planting a garden and mowing the grass. But not everyone will need an easement requested on their property. And let me stress, even if we are requesting an easement, this is a voluntary program. What else does it take to place lines underground? Well, the round transformers on the pole become green pad mount transformers on the ground. The location of transformers is based on the electric load and the route of the underground line. Not every home requires a transformer. Pedestals are smaller than pad mount transformers and allow us to service multiple homes out of a single transformer. As part of this project, we also plan to underground the line that runs from the pole to the customer's home. This is part of the one-on-one -on -one conversations and field visits we will make as this is unique to each home. However, I want to let you know that in some cases, we will need to install a meter base adapter. If your current meter base accepts or will accept underground cable, then we will not need to install the meter base adapter to convert from overhead to underground. Now, a meter base adapter may be needed for some customers whose meter base is not large enough to accept the underground cable. We will work with each property owner one-on-one -on -one to determine if a meter base adapter is needed. We have several options of the adapter, which provides flexibility to ensure we can convert your service. This picture shows one type of meter base adapter. There may be some obstructions, such as decks or patios, that may create challenges with replacing the overhead service line to your house and putting it underground. These unique situations will be addressed one-on-one -on -one with homeowners. You may be wondering, what is this going to cost me? There are no upfront construction costs for this project. This program is being funded by a special rate adjustment that all customers pay on their bill. It is a Dominion program in which all of our customers are funding because all of our customers benefit from this reliability effort because we're able to turn the lights on more quickly for all customers during a major storm event. As a regulated utility, these costs are reviewed and approved by the State Corporation Commission. Here's what you can expect as a project in your area moves forward. The rest of the project schedule is driven by the easement stage. Once all easements have been acquired, construction can then begin. The construction timeline will be communicated beforehand using a door hanger showing the construction start date and contact information for the contractor. After all underground facilities have been installed, we will need to convert the power from overhead to underground, which will require a scheduled outage that will last between two and four hours. You will receive 48 hours notice before the planned outage. You do not need to be home during this time, but we will need access to your meter base. We will then come and remove our overhead facilities off the poles. Once construction is complete, we will return your yard to a similar condition as it was prior to construction. So what are the next steps? You may be contacted by one of our contractor partners if there is a project in your area. They will be able to review the proposed layout and discuss the need for an easement on your property. If you are ready to sign the easement, our contractors have notaries and are happy to notarize the document for you. If you would like to hold on to the easement and review it, that's not a problem. Our contractors will follow up with you to help answer any questions that you have. We are committed to continuous communication so you can expect to receive updated information as the project progresses. This could be in the form of a letter, a phone call, or even a door hanger. Our communications process is very detailed and well thought out, so you will definitely be hearing from us throughout the project. Once we have all the easements, the construction schedule will be communicated with you. 
So as you can see, customer communication is key in our process, and we take it very seriously. We will seek feedback at the end of the project in the form of a survey, but please let us know if there's anything we can do throughout the project. Even though Dominion contractors will be assisting us with easements and construction, a Dominion representative will always be available to answer any questions. Thank you for taking the time to view our informational video. We appreciate your support and look forward to working with you to improve service reliability.